alternative uses for film gear. Hey. Oh wow, that's oh. brilliant. I know, I'm a genius kid. Mm. <laughs> I gotta throw my dick on the bed sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm a college dropout. <laughs> okay, uh, what up YouTube? Uh, Mr. Loki, YouTube hustler, telling you what's there, telling you what's quiet in the world of Tokyo. Today, I was very lucky to be joined by... Dustin, known as El Dente. Okay. Visiting Tokyo for some time? Yeah, I'm here for two months. I got here April 5th, okay. and I leave June 3rd. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so uh, Dustin is a filmmaker, Instagram killer, grand killer, and uh, he's joining me today for an episode of Spend Your Yen. Maybe let's call this a California special. Spend your dollars, spend your yen. If you had 5,000 yen in your pocket right now, mm -hmm. what five things in Tokyo? Well, where would your 5,000 yen go? All right. The first 1,000 of that 5,000. Oh, so it's a full five. The 5,000 comes back five times. So you can spend all five. You can spend 1,000 of it. Just it's five instances where it can go up to... He's fucking up my. He's fucking up the plan already. Consistency, consistency. He's, he's, Each time, he everyone said, else. Okay, got... I got five thousand yen, right? Yeah. Okay, this is how I'm gonna spend my five thousand yen. Five different ways to spend five thousand yen. It's the same five thousand, but it's a hypothetical five thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's five different ways to spend five thousand yen. How about the sh oh five different ways? Well, I'm about to tell you the first way. Alright, but you said you're only gonna spend a thousand. I didn't get to finish the story. Right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Don't edit this out either. Just let the map in. Yeah. All right. So my first 5,000, this yeah. is the five ways You're I'm going to spend Tokyo. it. Yeah. I'm in Tokyo. So 1,000 of that is going to go to my favorite ramen spot. Oh, it's in that? Shujuku. Okay. It's a beef ramen spot. Okay. It's delicious. It's not really soupy. It's right. just it's oily. Okay. It's fire. It's spicy. And I love beef. Oh. I don't do pork. Okay. Then... The second thing I'm gonna do with this first 5,000. Right. So you're, you're a ramen guy? When was the first time you had ramen? Uh, first time I had ramen was probably 2007 okay. in LA and Little Tokyo. Oh, snap. I missed the ramen. Yeah. I had beef curry ramen. And it just it changed, changed your mind? I mean, I've only seen it in Naruto and anime. Yeah. And I was just like, man, this looks delicious. Na Naruto got me into ramen. And I was like, top ramen don't yeah. look like this shit. So. Do you, did you know there's actually a Naruto ramen restaurant? The ramen restaurant from Naruto is in Ikebukuro. Wow. Yeah. It Legit, got pork it's ramen, though? Uh, it's it's, like it's anime ramen. Uh, yeah, so it's probably pork. Probably, yeah, most ramen is pork. There's, uh, yeah. there's halal ramen in Asakusa. And there's uh, well, vegan I get, ramen. I gotta go to the halal ramen spot. Right, right. It's more Malaysian. Oh, yeah, ramen. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So then, so now I got 4,000. Okay. So, number left. one, number one was the ramen. Yeah. Okay. But that's still the first 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. So, I have 4,000 left right. out of that five. So, I, I move a lot. So, right. I'm definitely going to add 1,000 yen onto the Passmo. Okay. So, when you come to Tokyo, you're going to need a Suka card right. or a Passmo. Put a thousand on that. I'm usually good for it. So you you love the trains. You travel by train, not by bus, not by no, taxi. For, you no, know, you're a train man. I'm a train guy. I'll catch the taxi if I'm out late right. and I don't feel like walking, so I hop on the taxi. Oh my god. Honestly, I would prefer a bicycle, right. but I'm not trying to ride the typical bicycles right. out here. Well, what do you think of the Japanese train system versus the, the it's, train system. It's amazing. The California train system is trash. Oh, it's, snap. it's not good at all. It's not really efficient. I'm blessed to live right across the street from the exposition train line, okay. which recently got finished, and it goes all the way to Santa Monica right. Beach. Right. Even though there's an amazing train that I can take to the beach every day, hmm. in 10 minutes, I still drive. I still rather drive. It costs a dollar seventy-five to take the train. What do you think about taking photos on trains? I've seen on your Instagram you've got some very interesting pics. I love it trains. because you see everybody on the train. And everyone's mm -hmm. got a story. There's so many different people. Mm -hmm. So many people tired from work. I like to capture them. Don't the, you find it how interesting is how generally Japanese people are very introverted, mm -hmm. but they're so close together on the train. Yeah, they're mad Maybe. close together, especially mm -hmm. when. It gets to the point where it's packed and they right. forcibly put their cells on the like, train. Right. And so you're literally body to body on people. Right. And everyone's supposed to be really shy here, but the things are... You get to know everybody the, nice and intimate. Yeah, like and, everyone's so intimately uh, close. So it's kind of funny. Have but, you ever written the rush hour train? Yeah, there's one jump on. It's terrible. Oh, there's the morning one and the evening one. I've been on the evening yeah. and morning. Yeah. And I've been on the side oh, line. Right. <sighs> side have, you, line. have you ever heard of the subway gropings? Of these perverts, yeah, yeah, the yeah. And they, yeah, they, yeah. They I've heard about it. it. I haven't witnessed it. You're not scared of getting groped? 
No. Dreadlock groped? If I saw <laughs> someone get groped, I'd What if you got groped on a train? What did you do? If I got groped. Someone wanted to touch. I hope it's a pretty girl groping <laughs> me. And if it's an old dude groping oh. me, he's gonna get socked in the chest. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Like, hey, I think if a cute girl groped me on the train, first thing I'd say is consent. Not consent to do it, but consent for her to stop. I didn't give her my consent to stop. I mean, so I would probably, I would be, I mean, I wouldn't like it. I'd be like, what the um, fuck? But at least if it was a girl, I wouldn't like it being touched yeah. with me because I'm not gay. But, but, but real issue, jokes aside, real issue. Subway girl thing yeah, is yeah. It's a real thing. It's, it's a real thing. It's but real ladies, easy to do, ladies, too, I imagine. Ladies, watch out for yourself. Um, uh, get your booty go out. Mm. So I got 3,000 yen mm. left. Okay, so we're riding the train, we're getting ramen. Are you into fashion? Are you no. a, a sh sneakerhead, clothes no, man? No, not at all. Okay. So you pretty like much maybe figurines, anime. No, I don't. So basically, I, I'm not a souvenir frugal, guy. Okay. I'm very frugal. I spend my money on train and food. Okay. So the rest of that three thousand yen is probably gonna get blown out of yakitori spot, and I'm gonna just eat man meat. Okay. Where would you ride your train to? You know, what type of places in Tokyo do you like to go? To? So I'm in Asagaya this and trip. Kalinji is really nice. Okay. I've only been to Shibuya once this whole time. Okay, so it's not trip. a Shibuya man. Most people are Shibuya Harajuku Shinjuku. You, no. you, you don't vibe with that. No, I just post up in the area sometimes okay. or okay. I'll, I'll walk All to right. like Koenji. Okay. So you like the understated parts of, of Japan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not spending money on figurines. I <laughs> it's because I've done that before. I want, right. This is me right. living in Japan right. this So trip. this is your fifth trip to Japan, you mentioned. Fourth. Fourth, fourth, fourth. So, so you've, you've, you've done the levels. So. Yeah. I've done the whole, let's go okay. to Shibuya, Akihabara, uh, buy shit, figurines. Done like, Disneyland. Yeah. Done no, I didn't, I didn't go to Disneyland. Okay, I don't want yet. to. I don't want to. I don't care. Right. Mickey, Mickey, did you bad? No. I'm just right. not into it. Right. Right. I know it's not fucking with Six Flags, so right. it's a waste of time. <laughs> right. 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 So you swear by Six Flags? Yeah. And then for then, I don't go to Six Flags a lot. All right. Right. But maybe one day I'll go. I doubt it though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. So we've got those, 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 those two things. Where? Maybe. Okay, so maybe eating, a skate you're park. On the fashion. Okay. The skate park. Maybe a skate park. There's a skate park in Nishi Tokyo, okay. and it costs money to rent the helmet and stuff if you don't have one. Right. So I'll spend some money going out to Hibari Goka Station. Oh, nice. And go to that skate park, okay. so that's a thousand yen gone. And you film quite a bit of content about like rollerbladers mm -hmm. and skaters. Tell me what piece of rollerblading gear or what rollerblading event, what would you do with five thousand yen to, to, to have some fun? With um, you don't need five thousand yen to have fun with rollerblading. Right. Um, five thousand yen is a lot of money, like right. fifty bucks. Basically, even back home. I'm a food person. I right. blow my money on food. Right, right, right. So if anything, I'm always looking for a new spot to eat. Okay. I don't care to eat at touristy spots. Right. I like Shinbashi a lot. There's a new um, mall that got built in Hibiya. Right. It's really fucking cool. Right. So there's a lot of food spots there. So, yeah, so a, check out Shinbashi. Or yeah, Shinbashi is really nice in the Hibiya area. Because I also saw on your Instagram, you had some very fire pics in Shinbashi. Mm -hmm. What piece of film gear would you buy? 5,000 yen to get the, okay. the video and photography going in the film. 5,000 yen? Another battery. Because <laughs> you, need, you need power to you keep shooting. You need batteries shooting. in Tokyo? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, so far, I've only needed just one battery, but... Okay. Gets you through about a day? Yeah, a whole day. It lasts me all day, all night, but if I'm... 5,000 yen yeah. for camera related. You can't get too it's much. There's a couple of things. If Maybe you, if a lens cloth. And you're, and you're smart. You can't have no dirty, no dirty lens. Yeah, lens Mess cloth. Mess up your face. A tripod, nah. which I need to buy. Maybe for my episode of I came here with a glide cam. Oh, so I have my glide cam. But lately, everything I've been shooting is handheld. Okay, okay. All handheld. But yeah, maybe a, a nifty 50 lens. You can get like a $50 lens. Yeah, Samyang. Samyang is all Yeah, so yeah. Maybe a shitty 50 millimeter lens. Lomo lens, go hipster. Yeah. Some accessories, little lens ball, little, little crystal. Maybe, um, little no, no. Duh, I would spend 50 bucks all on fucking Polaroid film. I have stacks. And as a Polaroid Polaroids. man, hit up, hit up that Insta. Hit up that Insta, <laughs> that Insta get those Polaroids. Yeah, okay. it's like 2,500 yen for a pack 
and a pack is eight shots. Oh, it's nice. So I would spend 5,000 yen on a bunch of Polaroids. So, so I gotta ask, is, I've seen there's two types of photographers. Mm -hmm. Those who see what's going on and shoot, and those who shoot first and then try to see what's going on. Where do you fall into that spectrum? Do you shoot first, then ask questions, or ask questions first, then shoot? Um, it depends, because sometimes, like in Shimbashi, for example, I took a really nice picture of a taxi cab driver, and I just saw it, and I said, like, oh man, this will probably be a dope shot. This is something I would see in a gallery. But were you running around old trick, a happy and then no, you saw it, or I, first, you saw him first, and then you're like... I just watched, I just looked at him, and I was watch, like, watch, 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 yeah, I think this would be a good shot. Right. And sometimes, I'll see, if you notice, I have a lot of pictures of people. Okay. And I just see people I find beautiful. So you spend your 5,000 yen to meet people, like, Yeah. Pretty much? Okay. Is there a type of cafe you'd love to go to? Like yes. Because I, I went to a maid cafe recently. Episode yes. about that coming eventually. I eventually. have a favorite cafe. Really? Well, where would you? How? Which cafe would you spend your five thousand? Choco Cro. Choco Cro. What is that Choco? Um, they got all kind of shit you shouldn't eat, like okay. French toast and ice cream. Okay. 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 And just very desserty, but they have like breakfast things. But I think it's also known as Saint Mark. Okay. But. Okay. It's also Choco Crow. Choco Crow. And I first discovered it last year when I was staying at Sweet Obashi. Oh, yeah. And so there's one actually down the street. Okay. Choco Crow. Okay. Choco Crow. I would spend, I would buy, yeah, French toast ice cream. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It's a, it's a huge one and the ice cream just is on top? It's like, no, it's like a nice typical s slices of French toast and like a, mm. a cup of ice cream or mm. on top of the French toast. I can inspire to make film. Yeah, okay. It's really good. Okay. I think uh, we'll leave it over there. Yeah. So, uh, Dustin, Al Dente, thank you very much. That's been an episode of Spend Your Yen. Peace. <laughs>